everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and my mom is on the show today, Ingrid. Hi. And we're baking up a storm. We are baking strawberry balsamic shortbread cookies. It's mm. going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Now this is also going to go for another recipe that we're going to use the cookies in and that's strawberry balsamic shortbread hearts with berries and cream. So make sure you check out that show to get the rest of the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, but here we go. We're going to start these cookies now. What's okay. going on? Two cups of butter. Two cups of butter, okay? Right. That's two cups right there? Yeah, room temperature. Nice. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start by creaming this up, mm -hmm. making it light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Now, we're using a standing mixer today. However, you could use a hand mixer if you like. I suggest not doing these by hand, because you want them to be fluffy. They're shortbread. Right. So if you need one of these guys, make sure you go to shop.cookingwithkimberly.com. We've got a couple of beautiful kitchen aids that you can choose from. Go ahead, Mommy. So we've creamed the butter, we're going to add in the sugars, okay, half a cup of regular white sugar mm -hmm. and half a cup of icing sugar, it's also called confectioner sugar, mm -hmm. or powdered sugar. Right. Okay, so cream that up, again, light and fluffy. Okay, so now it's light and fluffy, yes. it smells so good. Mm -hmm. We're going to add in the egg yolks, okay, two, two, egg, egg, yolks. two egg yolks, keeps it, the dough nice and rich. Okay. Um, so a half a teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of vanilla here, vanilla extract, use the real kind. Now you can check out the uh, review I have for this, this is Epicurial Pure Bourbon Vanilla Extract. Um, the other stuff is vanillin, it is a byproduct of making paper, it's not good for you, it smells like it, it looks like it, it kind of tastes like it, but it's not vanilla. Right. Okay. You don't want to put trees into your um, cookies. You know, I'm going uh, to add this lovely strawberry balsamic vinegar into the um, mixture with the butter, sugar, and eggs. It's going to be awesome. Now, this is from Wine Country Kitchens. You can find them online at winecountrykitchens.com. This is their <laughs> Napa Valley strawberry balsamic vinegar. High quality balsamic from Modena, which is the highest quality in the world. Mm -hmm. It's mixed with a strawberry puree. It gives it an intense strawberry flavor. It's so tasty, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. It comes out like a syrup, like a maple syrup consistency. Right. So robust, so delicious. It was awesome on a salad we had tonight. We did a kiwi, strawberry, spinach, and chef salad with a Napa Valley strawberry balsamic vinaigrette. Make sure you check out those recipes. Perfect for Valentine's Day, really great for a theme. And since this eventually is going to be a strawberry product, um, anything that enhances the strawberry flavor, it's great. Yes, ma'am. So we're going to add how much, Mom? <laughs> About a tablespoon. Okay, you're going to see it comes out like a syrup. Ooh-wee. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Good. Great. We're going to cream this in and uh, then we'll be ready to add our dry ingredients. Awesome. Now the fragrance of strawberry is totally filling the kitchen. <laughs> it's amazing. It's not even baking yet. It's just in the buttered sugar mix. Uh, fantastic stuff. Make sure you're scraping your bowl in between, you know, additions to make sure that it, everything is getting combined. It'll get stuck to your beater. It'll get stuck to the sides of your bowl. So just scrape, scrape, scrape. Yeah. Russia. That's right. Okay. So now um, we have in this little bowl a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and we're going to add this to and one teaspoon of cornstarch. Oh yes, sorry, <laughs> one teaspoon of cornstarch. We're going to add this to the first cup of flour. Okay. And here we have four cups of flour. That's right. And since we added um, the uh, strawberry balsamic we may need more than four cups of flour but that will we'll work it in when we're kneading the dough okay okay the second cup of flour goes in okay so you're what you want to do is combine it nearly fully like so it looks pretty combined mm -hmm. before you add more flour mm -hmm. again scrape down your bowl and you're going to continue to add your flour a cup at a time until it's done. It's over. <laughs> yeah, until all the flour is in. And then we'll tip it out onto the working surface. Yep. Okay. This dough is really good. <laughs> and shortbread is amongst my favorite cookie doughs. If none of you know, I'm a cookie dough freak. I love cookie dough. I like it better than the baked cookies most of the time. <laughs> Anyhow. Mom has a beautiful dough here and it has a gorgeous flavor of strawberry. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
So, Mom's gonna show you what we're gonna do. Okay, um, one thing. Once you've incorporated the dough and you no longer see any white uh, specks of flour, you have to stop mixing. If you continue to mix, you're gonna have rock hard cookies. Mm -hmm. So as soon as the flour gets incorporated into the mix, stop mixing. Good advice, Mom. Yeah. Sound advice. Well, it uh, it releases gluten in the flour, and mm. and uh, that makes it real sticky and. You don't want that. Good. You want them to be light and like flaky. See, even though I'm going to add flour by hand, it's not the same as uh, mixing it around with the mix master. Make sure you get every little bit out because um, this dough is awesome. You want to make as many cookies as you possibly can. Look at this nice deep um, color it has because of the balsamic. It really changed it to a darker beige. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I want some more of this dough. <laughs> dough by myself. Oh, okay. mm. oh, it's like you added a strawberry essence. Kim was like this from the time she was a child with the dough. Mm. It's like you added an extract <laughs> with this. Mom. Yeah. Mm. Okay, this can be a little messy. But not really. It's only food, you know. Okay, so I have some flour here and a little bit of cornstarch. I don't want to add all flour. I would sooner incorporate a little bit of cornstarch into the bench mix because um, it tends to make the, the uh, cookies lighter. So mm. I'm just going to sprinkle with a little cornstarch. This dough is awesome. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Mom won't let me get any more. <laughs> Keep trying to sneak in here. Just trying mm. to get a mm. couple of balls of dough here because um, there's too much dough to uh, roll it all out. Mm. Mommy, and so good. When you're doing this kneading, don't get excited and worried because there are all these crumbs around. Once you work it a little bit, they'll all stick together. And that's what your bread's about. Yes, yeah, <laughs> you want to. Um, um, knead it until you find that there are cracks forming in the dough. Mm. Uh, then it has enough flour and you have to stop. It's phenomenal dough. You're going to love this recipe. I can't wait to try them baked up too. We're going to use these um, different sized heart shaped cutouts today because we're doing Valentine's. But you could, if you're doing it for Christmas, then you do Christmas, you know, Christmas shapes. Uh, whatever kind of shape you want, but we have three different sizes we're going to be making because we're going to be stacking these shortbreads um, with whipped cream and berries, and it's going to be something else. So we want different sizes to make it really yes. visually appealing. We'll be using three cookies at a time, so the, the biggest one will go on the bottom, and then we'll put strawberries, and then the next one, and so on. Mmm, sounds awesome to me. Mm -hmm. See how that just comes together? Sure did. It doesn't look like it will in the first <laughs> Nope. Well, Mom wrapped up all the dough. I can't feel anymore. <laughs> okay, so while I was kneading the dough, um, I'm just going to reiterate that I used a little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of flour. Now that I'm rolling it out, however, I'm going to put icing sugar on the bottom Ooh. instead of flour or um, uh, cornstarch. Okay. It'll keep it from sticking to the pad, and uh, you can never have it sweet enough anyway. Mm. Well, you're making sweets for your sweets. Right. So I form them into little discs just to make it easier to roll out. Awesome. Do you want the other one in the fridge or no? No, I don't okay. think we need to. You just don't want it to dry out, right? Right. Okay. So you're gonna roll it out to how thin? Uh, just over a quarter of an inch thick. Okay. Because you want them to stand up to the berries and the yeah, cream. Yeah, if I was making just plain um, shortbread cookies, that or like was an eighth of an inch, I might make them a little thinner. But since they have to hold up uh, with some liquid and the berries, uh, I think we'll just make it a little thicker. But these are going to be great cookies all by themselves anyway. Yeah. And they're still Valentine's Eve. Mm -hmm. The hearts. So when you're rolling out, you roll out from the middle so that the edges are not real thin and the middle real thick. It's very therapeutic, I find, rolling out cookie dough. <laughs> That's a beautiful dough, look at this. It's rolling out so smoothly. Mm -hmm. So any 
anything you were afraid of, don't be afraid of. No, you can fix almost anything as long as you don't get too excited. I'm all worried. Now that so, looks about a quarter of an inch, I think. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to get some baking mats prepared? Yeah, please. Cool. And I put some flour in this little container to dump my cutters in so that uh, every now and again I just dump them in the flour so that uh, the dough doesn't stick to the cookie cutters. Okay, so my cookie cutters are ready. I'm just going to cut. How big is that? Maybe four inches long? Mm -hmm, I think Ish. so, four inches wide. Yeah. Now the, the trick is here to make sure you have the same number of different sizes. Yes. So you want to do a couple of the bigs, a mm -hmm. couple of the mediums, a couple of the smalls at a time to make sure that you've got the right thing going mm -hmm. on. Oh, they're so cute. Great. Well, I have a couple baking sheets ready with some silicone mats, fantastic ones. Make sure you check out our review on these. These are the Bake It Fun non-stick silicone baking mats. They are awesome. Blue and red. You could use parchment. Mm -hmm. Yep, you could, for sure, if you don't have uh, silk hats. But really, you know, it's worth the investment. Sure is. Everything you bake just comes off the, uh, the cookie tin or your sheets easily and not just sweets like you could do you could uh, do chicken mm -hmm. or french fries or mm -hmm. roasted potatoes absolutely okay these look so cute mom <laughs> so look that's about a quarter of an inch thick oh nice and thick there you go look at that how pretty so usually because we do them thinner uh, we bake them eight to ten minutes. Uh, I'm thinking these might take ten to twelve or thirteen minutes. Okay. I'm not sure. We just have to keep an eye on it. What you want is for the edges to start turning brown and the uh, body um, to just get a little slightly darker than these are. Okay, so you're looking for the edges to be brown, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit. So we're going to bake these at 350 degrees. I'm just preheating my oven right now and we're going to actually use a convection setting just because we have it. If you don't have it, you're fine without it. It's going to be okay. All right. So here's a whole tray ready to go. We've got eat one of each size ready and all together, which mm -hmm. is really essential. Three servings. <laughs> for three servings. That's right. So just going to wait to put those guys in and keep rolling out all your dough until you're yeah, don't, done. Yeah. Save all the dough. You can use it all. So you're just gonna keep pushing your dough together in between um, what was in between these ones you cut out and squish it back together and keep rolling out until you're done. If you don't have cookie cutters, you can try and freehand it. I think some freehand hearts are pretty. You know? They don't have to be perfect either, hearts all the time. Especially since you're gonna be layering them. I think yeah. it'd, be, it'd be super cute either way. Okay, so I have two trays ready to go, and we're going to bake them on 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. So we're going to check them around 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So here's a, another gorgeous sheet. There you go. In they go. Here they are, Mom. They're ready. Wow. Boy, do they smell. Oh, they're perfect. They're perfect. I think you can see the, how they're just brownish around the edges. Yep, yeah, I hope so. There you go, we can see it. They're a little bit browned on the edges and they've puffed up beautifully. Oh, they're so pretty. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put this here. We're gonna let them cool for just a couple minutes before we remove them to mm -hmm. the rack. You want them to kind of set up a bit so they don't fall apart because they're quite delicate right now. Mm, right, they have to cool and then you can remove them without breaking them. Woo wee, good stuff. Mm -hmm. And you have a whole sheet full plus another tray and we made some extra smaller ones yes. just by themselves cookies just for fun this one didn't right. work out you can have it <laughs> thanks <laughs> well <laughs> we're going to taste test one just because we want to mm -hmm. it's a broken heart now you have half broken an idea yeah. cheers cheers babe mm. 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 it's just crunchy on the outside milk in your milk it really is flaky Falling apart mm. Mm. with an essence of strawberry. Look mm -hmm. at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, those are good. Really nice with that strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. You get it at the end. Mm -hmm. Hits you right on your tongue. Oh, that's tasty. Good job, huh? Mm -hmm. mm, great idea. So we're on our last two batches here. 
and you'll see us when we're done. Okay, so we now we have some of our little cookies at the bottom, you'll see them there, little tiny ones, and we're gonna decorate them with cinnamon hearts. Because mm -hmm. what's more festive than that? Mm -hmm. I love those cinnamon hearts. So we get to decorate like it's Christmas. Mm -hmm. So just one cinnamon heart in the middle of each little heart cookie. You have to do it now, you don't wanna do it after. <laughs> they are adorable. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So there's variations. You can have the, let the kids help you. They would think this is really fun. Or you could do it like sandwich these little ones with some um, uh, strawberry jam in between. Mm. You can you can just use the same recipe for all all of the cookies, and then just treat them differently. Yep. Some with different sizes in the middle. Some with jam in between and some for the berries and cream right and some for our berries and cream that's gonna be so awesome that's right oh it smells all cinnamony mm -hmm. okay so there you go they look absolutely adorable look at that can't wait so into the oven these guys go well these look fantastic mommy mm -hmm. um we've got 10 of the large hearts and the medium hearts and the small hearts Mm -hmm. And then we got about a dozen of the little hearts with the candies in them. So nice. Look how cute they are. They turned out really well. Day. <laughs> so there you go. Very cool. Would you like to try something? Mm-hmm. Want to try one of the cinnamon heart ones? Mm-hmm. Okay. I am too. Okay. Mm. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Mmm. Mm. They're amazing. Really good, Mom. Mmm. 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 Mm. Yeah, cinnamon hot cinnamon candy. Mm. And you can taste the strawberry. Oh, well. Sure can. Mmm. Mm. Nice combo. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. These cookies are awesome. And you know what? The little cinnamon hearts, when you bake them, they get soft. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Which is nice because you don't have to break your teeth on them. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. Anyhow, beautiful stuff. Mix and match. You could even do little icings and things like mm -hmm. that. Red and white. And little notes and mm -hmm. things like that. Will you be mine? We have plans for these cookies. Boy, do we ever. <laughs> we have plans for them. So this is, um, make sure you check out that recipe for strawberry balsamic shortbread hearts mm -hmm. with berries and cream. Okay? And you'll see what we're gonna do. They're gonna be so pretty. And that's it. So ba yeah, basically we're gonna stack them. Three okay. at a time like that with berries and cream in between. So <laughs> good people. Come on. You would not be upset that that you brought will you. melt everybody's heart. You sure will. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope that you try this recipe because these cookies are really nice on their own or for other things too. Mm -hmm. You know, they're buttery, they're flaky, they're melt in your mouth, they're mm -hmm. a little bit crunchy on the outside, they're perfectly browned on the back side. Beautiful. Look at those. I mean, we've even done uh, little mini uh, chocolate chips in them. Mm -hmm. so you sure can. There's all kinds of ideas. Absolutely. You so that's how you do it guys, that's how you bake a strawberry balsamic shortbread cookie. I love them. Mm -hmm. My heart's beating like this. Yeah. Anyhow, I hope that you try it, you're going to love it. And check out Wine Country Kitchens online at winecountrykitchens.com for this balsamic vinegar and their whole line of them. They are phenomenal, mm -hmm. fabulous to bake with. I know you've probably never thought of baking with balsamics, but really, really good. And we did a beautiful vanilla fig balsamic cookie as well. Yes, we did. Out of this world. Awesome. Really, really good. So make something really sweet and lovely for somebody you love on Valentine's Day. Thanks, Mommy. <laughs> Food there. Mm -hmm. All right, so check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world. All right, be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye.